Hi Pisces, it's Elle here to do your weekly reading. Thank you for being here. Thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing to the channel. It means a lot. Let's get into this. Thank you God for blessing Pisces with a clear, concise message from you. All right, so we're gonna start with love. Let's see what's going on for love for Pisces. All right, first card, all you need to do is believe in yourself. So maybe you just don't believe that it can work or you don't believe that you could stay or you don't believe that you could tolerate or you don't believe that you can change or you don't believe something about yourself here it says you are moving on to a steady and reliable path so that's very great okay so as long as you know that you're moving into something that is going to be steady it's going to be reliable maybe the tough time in a relationship is over is getting to a more complacent time Peace comes from within. Do not seek it. So it's like maybe you're at war with yourself in terms of what you really want, what you what you're trying to do, this that. You know, maybe you just need to call a truce within yourself. Have some type of peace treaty with yourself. Um, this is what it is. Um, something about uh, getting the terms of the terms of the terms and conditions of the relationship. Yeah, and where does the power come from? It comes from within. So you got a lot of cards talking about within, peace, power, all of that. Um, you just need to know that you have all that you need to manifest the relationship, the love that you deserve. Um, yeah, it says when you meet your soulmate, you feel calm, anxiety, and no agitation. Maybe you're questioning if someone is your soulmate here. Um or vice versa, this is what someone you're doing, dealing with is, are you questioning if this is a long-term relationship or even if you really want that with anyone here? Um, you're going over and over yourself, going over and over, you know, maybe that question with yourself. You don't wanna lead anybody on, you don't wanna change any minds here, uh, or you don't wanna raise any red flags. It's just more so you just don't know at this point. Um, there's something within you that you haven't resolved a whole lot of money and let's run away together so maybe you feel like <clears throat> i don't know you could feel like somebody has a whole lot of money they could want to run away with you or someone staying with you or making you fall in love with them because you have a whole lot of money or vice versa this is what you're doing whoa i said i made you fall in love with me because it was fun sorry so it's like maybe somebody's staying with you or you're staying with someone because it was fun at, in the beginning. You just didn't have a whole lot of, or oh, you didn't have all these long-term plans for the relationship. And now it's shifted here. Like you're just not sure because you know that this person is looking at you like, well, what are we doing and where is this going? And they're asking questions or this is you. Somebody didn't have a whole lot of plans for the connection with you. Could be that someone is not physically attracted to their partner. Um, let's see. Hook, I heard cheating too. Maybe somebody hooks up on a weekend with someone else. They don't feel any type of way about it. They feel neutral about it. They just feel like duality. You know, sometimes I do good. Sometimes I do bad. And they're okay with jumping in between. Um, somebody's health could be declining. Somebody is not doing good magic. They could be doing something that's not so great. Somebody could want to be with somebody because they do have a lot of money. They are not a super independent lady. So this could be a feminine energy. Somebody likes the romantic dinners and the wine and, and dining. Uh, but somebody cannot maintain a relationship here. Someone feels like this is like a false sense of, of uh, hurt, like mirror magic or somebody could be doing magic or spells here because we had the white witch coming up in reverse someone's doing magic that is just not good and it could be that someone's trying to make someone see someone as absolutely gorgeous but how they really are is not gorgeous not stunning not breathtaking somebody could be seeing somebody in their true light here Yeah, someone could be seeing someone in that true light. If you got a business idea to start that business, somebody is materialistic as F. This is a really uh, funky, funky reading, uh, Pisces. Let's see what we got going on for 
career and finance. Yeah, you got some ideas of how to bring in more money with the Page of Swords. It says move on those ideas. Do your research, your marketing research, whatever research you need to do. You could have a really good idea here. It is a yes answer. Yeah. And then some doors will open for you, maybe around the springtime where things will start to move. I heard move off the shelves. Maybe there'll be some sales made here. There will be movement. So that's really good. What else do we have? Yeah, Ace of Cups, a new business uh, opportunity could be, uh, I heard fruitful. So maybe doing something with fruit. Uh, yeah, it could be fruitful. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. It's something that you love to do, a passion project here. Would it be in the... It's just something that you are inspired to do with the Ace of Cups. Use your friend groups, large internet friend group. Could be waiting for something to come to you or waiting for other people to do something. Don't do that. Um, take action on your own. The star card, um, friend groups, internet large crowds of people people looking up to or looking forward to or someone's looking up to you nine of swords so there's a bit of apprehension maybe even fear anxiety surrounding your new business opportunity you need to come out of that all right just make a plan some some of you need to have a plan you need to have a business plan you need to have something that is on paper um, so that you can manifest even quickly uh, let's get one more card and we're out of here for Pisces. All right. Memories and grief work. So it's like um, somebody's messing with somebody's. I heard some messing with my psyche and memory. Also, this could be somebody doing like spells in terms of somebody's memory and their psyche. Not allowing someone to heal, to move forward, to go through that grieving process. Someone is stuck here. Somebody can't even rest or... Um, something about stop someone can't rest and someone can't let something rest there is no forgiveness it's not someone is not in a place of forgiveness right now they keep remembering or the memories keep resurfacing so that there is no healing process and it could be that you're lovesick over someone or, or them over you this is told you black witch and we had the white witch come up in reverse somebody's doing something real real janky real funky they're gonna get caught or they have already been caught somebody's seeing somebody's true nature this is what i have if it resonates let me know how it resonates for you down in the comment section go over to the website book there ask a question or two by texting it to the number below um, come learn the tarot with me Tarot classes are linked below. You can also check me out live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you guys. Many blessings to you. Take care.